Major development in the case against a man accused of shooting a deputy. The appeals court just decided he is entitled to another stand your ground hearing. It all began four years ago when undercover deputies came to John DeRossett's Port St. John house to arrest his niece. The 69-year-old says he did not know they were law enforcement officers when he opened fire. News 6's James Barbero has the latest on the case. The prostitution sting that went terribly wrong for just about everyone. What did you think was happening right then? Someone kidnapped me for the sex slave. Mary Ellis and her uncle John DeRossett arguing three undercover deputies did not have a warrant and did not identify themselves before both sides started shooting. DeRossett shot twice. Agent Casey Smith wounded two. The appellate court has said now that they think that the in entry into the house was illegal. So they think that the police acted inappropriately that night. DeRossett's attorney fought for immunity from prosecution last year. He said, uh, shot him in self-defense, who would shoot a cop? However, Judge Robin Lemonitis sided with the state, and DeRossett was supposed to go to trial this summer. But now, an appellate court ruling that the correct burden of proof was not applied, and that two issues be looked at again. Whether or not DeRossett knew the deputies were law enforcement, and if he was aiding his niece in any illegal activity. I'm confident that once the judge applies the standard that the appellate court has put forward, that she will find that he is legally entitled to immunity because the appellate court is telling us exactly which standard to apply. Some Port St. John neighbors side with the state. He wasn't standing his ground on anybody thing. Nobody drew a gun on him. Others think DeRossett serving four years has been long enough. His attorney tells us he's in really bad health, that he suffered from infections following surgeries. If other people in the neighborhood said, look, he's been in jail for four years, let him get on with his life, you don't think so? No, I believe strongly an eye for an eye, and I don't feel that anybody like that should be out on the streets. So now one of two things will happen. Either everything that was put on the record at last year's Stand Your Ground hearing will be reviewed, or an entirely new Stand Your Ground hearing will take place here at the courthouse. We'll let you know whichever it is. In Titusville, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero getting results news 6.